And the previous speaker, the city clerk, didn't capture her name. Did she just know it? Did you know it? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ty Sean Adams. I live also on 230 Park Road. And uh, right now, this is this, this, this turning a lot of turmoil to all the residents. And me personally, because I just had to have a tumor removed out of my chest wall mask because of the asbestos and the mold and the walls. Even though I wiped that myself, because trying to call names or anybody else doing anything for you over there, talking to a dead slot silence. And he's found another tumor in my back that has to be removed. So that's two tumors that I had to have it moved out of my body because of the asbestos and the mold and the funk that's just growing in and out of the walls. I still have repairs that haven't been made within a whole year. I mean, the police brutality and corruption has gotten better. They don't ride on the grass and they used to almost hit kids and playing outside. Now they're crushing up the building that they tore down right outside and the dust is blowing, they don't need to spray water on it anymore. How do you expect kids to grow up and be successful when they're on the top of the films every day? Just by, even if you just pull up and not even get out of your car, council members, you can just smell the holes in the air. If you drive over there and take a walk in any of those buildings, any of those buildings, how Mr. Carlos has done it, Mr. Trish has done it, they see it. I've actually seen them themselves with mop buckets and their team cleaning some of these hallways. So I thank you guys for that. But it's bigger than them. Because it's more, it's going to take more than them to do some about the problems over here. Every day we have to go through this tournament. They're also right now, as we speak, they stopped because I'm pretty sure they might have some pressure from somebody. They were actually paying old fungus in the mold. Not cleaning it off, cleaning it right over it. And the elevators don't even work, so you gotta walk through that. You gotta smell that coming in and out of the building because the elevators don't work. The fire department came and ripped down the whole frame of the elevator. So the elevators don't even work, so you gotta walk up and down the stairway where they use a lead based paint, the paint right over its best. And you can see, it's not like you can't even see it. All the walls in there are orange, black, green, and yellow. Please do something before something really bad happens and the National Guards have to come to Elizabeth, and then the mayor is really going to be in trouble. Because we will be. And City Council, you may use this time. Mr. President, what was the last speaker's unit number? Mr. Adams. What's your unit number? My unit number is 230 Park Road, apartment 4J. 4J. My name is Helen Doss. I live at 201 First Street in the city of Elizabeth. If I ask you a question, do you have an answer? I am concerned about the big trucks that are coming in our neighborhood. And not only for pollution, I feel it's too residential. And I asked the question, and he said, well, they, they used to go another route, but because they built the houses by the waterfront. So, can you sort of update me on that? Okay, well, like what I can do is have the council member for the first floor uh, meet with you possibly. And update you on what may be going on with our first street council in Okay, because the pollution is, is, you know, and we're too residential. We got children there riding their bicycles, and a big mad truck comes by and all the pollution. But I know they were trying to work something out, but it just seems like it's a shoulder shrug, you know, it's, it's kind of a little, you know. If you'll see council in he will uh, follow up with you and give you whatever information you need. That's the council over here to my left, the first one. Any, any other taxpayer resident wishes to address city council and do so at this time? Hi, my 
Washington, I live in 220 Park School, because I have mold and fungus growing out my bathroom. Uh, my son came to my house numerous times. He spoke with the new missions guy. Like last week, they came, they tore it down, they left all the stuff in the bathroom. I haven't been able to use my bathroom in six months. The chalk is going to flush. I got mold and mushroom going everywhere out of my bathroom. Then they fixed, they put it up and it came right back down again. And I was trying to call Mr. Hassan. They put it up Thursday, Friday, they came back down. So I'm without a bathroom again. I've been without a bathroom for six months. My front door, I had to use a bud light to get in and get out. That's a fire hazard. I have three kids that have to be in school at 720. And it's just crazy. Like, they're not doing anything. And I keep calling my son out, and he's always not there. But he came out and he told them that they had to fix it, and they didn't do anything. And they moved me from 380 to 220 because of the mold. And now I came to another apartment that's worse than with the other one. Just so you know, the city clerk is keeping notes on this that we're going to follow up on each other. He came to my house, he's seen before. It's worse than what it was. You know, it's, it's bad because they put the blue sheet rock up and it spread down this over the white fixture, over the, the sand. It's like it's a fire hat. You understand what I'm saying? Let's say you didn't know her. 4D, 224 d And that's all I got. Yeah, like I said, like I said, the city clerk is keeping track of that, and after this, um, the follow-up on the health department will be expected in each case. Fungus is mushrooms. I got pictures in my phone. I recorded it. He said it is worse than that. Again, the bathroom can never be used again. That's how bad it is. Unless they tear the whole bathroom down. Thank you. I will make sure they get out there right away. Any other taxpayer president wishes to address the council in the news at this time? I've gone to the meeting that management had on Tuesday, and really I was pretty much not too pleased with what she had to say. I'm a woman, and basically what she was saying is something a man would tell a woman, something to appease the people. We don't want to be appeased. We just want what's correct, what's fair, and what's just. We do pay our rent, we may pay it late, but we do live in these places. There is a woman who put in a work order on Friday. You might do, uh, Councilman, have been there, you've been there, Manny um, Grover, and I've seen you on the grounds. And I went to her apartment. She put in a work order on Friday. The ceiling is falling down. I was in the office on Monday, and the management people said, oh, it's an emergency. We'll have it done. Today is Tuesday. Didn't I see a contractor? Didn't I see anybody? But I tell you, she has children. If the ceiling falls, and it falls on a child who has to use the bathroom facilities, what is it that the council people are going to say to that? You didn't know anything? There was nothing that you could do? When I was at the meeting, Chris Folio said, it was not because of the council. 
Okay, any of the other taxpayer president who wishes to address city council and we'll do so at this time. This will be the last speaker. She didn't hear it. Kayim Bess, Fox 23, Koshi, Elizabeth. Okay. They keep, they keep talking about me, this, me, this, me, this. They keep having me, this lady, Christine, they keep having these meetings, but don't come to the property. Why she having meetings away from her property or what she owns, what she trying to stop? I want to take care of my house, my property. Like I'm living in that house. I would want to establish a place on my property to sit with the people. You keep having me this way over all the day across town. For people to come just to talk about what? Oh, I'm going to give you a couple of body parts. Just go lay down and I'm out. Because we talk about it later. Or some child. I'm going to give you some cash that you pay your head. No, y'all start to be a nuisance. That's what the power is starting to look like. You people is getting a nuisance. That's how it's being looked at. You people. Like what people? Because it's minorities living at the projects too. <laughs> the other night, a friend of mine gave a little birthday party for a friend. Why? Wow. This police is just trying to push their way in these people's houses over a house party. Not even a house party, just a little get together because it's not Sunday night or the music is too loud. No, on Saturday nights the music is getting to be played till 11 o'clock at night. That's the noise producers, that's when you stop. On weekdays it's 10 o'clock. But you most of this knock on the person's door. They don't knock, they want to push their way in the people's houses. And, and, and that's crazy because we come here music times to these meetings to talk about the same issue, the same issue, the same issue, but the issue is not being solved. <laughs> At all on that property. And the property stink. And they tell them about our pockets. Man, you made this mess still from there to each other, man. They don't have no tools, they don't have nothing. So I don't know how she can sit here and say, Somebody's still the mop buckets in the building when she tell her own workers not to mop the floor every day. You use too much. <laughs> Cut back on the pond. They buy big gallons of pond by this big. They get cases of it, but they're not allowed to mop the floors every day. Everything you got flies. Everything inside the building. They don't clean the garbage chutes. They don't do nothing. So where is people stealing stuff like it ain't nothing to steal? They don't have no sheetrock, they don't have no plaster, they don't have no compound, they don't have nothing. But a mop, they got a mop in the room. But far as repairs, they don't have workers to really do the repairs to the property. They work as they the company. They put rocks on the back roofs. The management is smart, they want to talk smart to you.
when you try to walk up to him, he want to talk smart, talk about talk to management. I'm not here for that. There's still no area for the kids to play at. When they gonna play the sand catcher, now you gotta take them to the doctor because they're gonna go away from them. There's still no lights, it's still dark. I don't even let my kids come outside and play unless I come home from work. I come home every day to take them to bring them down to the playground right here on South Park Street by my grandfather's house. I don't even go, I don't even let them play outside. Because there's no way to play. Which one play in class? It's nothing. So next time she had this meeting, President, I, I appreciate that you asked that woman to walk through her property that she owned.
With the consent of my colleagues, I will dispense with the reading of the petitions and communications and reports of city officers and move on to ordinances on first reading. Ordinance number 4331, amend chapter 516.30, section A of the Code of the City of Elizabeth, entitled Auto Buses, specifically to include the financial status of the applicant regarding unpaid judgments, fees, and experience in the transportation of passengers. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4331. What is your pleasure? Move the ordinance for a vote, Mr. Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Adusty. Aye. Councilman Question. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedanium. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The ordinance passes on first reading. Public hearing for the consideration of the foregoing ordinance shall take place at the City Council meeting to be held Tuesday, September 25th, 2012, at 7 30. We will now move on to You've heard the reading of orders number 4324. What is your weather? Move the orders for a vote, Mr. President. Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll vote. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Question. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Gorman. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The orders passes in the final vote. Ordinance number 4325, authorizing an amendment to chapter 5.70.250 of the Code of the City of Elizabeth entitled Rent Control and Stabilization, specifically to extend the expiration date to December 31st, 2014. You've heard the reading of Ordinance number 4325. What is your question? Move the ordinance to vote. Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Massa. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The order is passed in the final reading. Ordinance number 4327 authorized the establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for Adel Kenner Sheffield and 24 M Street. You heard the reading of ordinance number 4327, what is the budget? Move the ordinance for a vote, Mr. President. Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we'll vote. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keene. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Gold. Aye. Councilman Manifa. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The ordinance passes the final vote. Ordinance number 4328, authorizing the establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for Donald Thomas, 563 Jefferson Avenue. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4328. What is your pleasure? Move the ordinance for a vote, Mr. President. Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, vote for all. Councilman Perkins of Dusty. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Ordinance number 4329, rescind ordinance number 3642, adopted August 24, 2004, which authorizes the establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for Pearl W. Cooper, 856 Bond Street. You've heard the reading of ordinance number 4329, what is the pleasure? Move this second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Spanier. Aye. Councilman Bowman. Aye. Councilman Massa. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The order is passed in the final reading. Ordinance number 
Ordinance number 4330. Rescinded Ordinance number 3614, adopted April 27, 2004, which authorized the establishment of a personalized handicap parking space for Maria Pereira, 528 Marshall Street. We've heard the reading of Ordinance number 4330. What is your question? Who the orders for vote first? Who the second? Are there any comments? Seeing none, vote we'll for. Councilwoman Perkins Augustine. Aye. Councilman Quester. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Ball. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. The order is passed in the final reading. Thank you. We'll now move on to new business. Introduce and approve the fiscal year 2013 municipal budget in the amount of $216,871,621.27. Fiscal year 2013 sewer utility budget in the amount of $19,500,000 and capital budget in the amount of $48,220,589. Here the reading of the resolution. What is it? Move and second it. Are there any comments? Seeing none, vote we'll for. Councilwoman Perkins Augusti. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keene. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Negative. Councilman Gordon. Aye. Councilman Manza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Resolution passed. Public hearing for the consideration will be held Tuesday evening, November 12, 2012. Authorized temporary emergency appropriations for the 2013 fiscal year municipal and utility budgets in the amount of $46,392,325. Reject the sole bid received on August 14, 2012 from Miracle Auto and Sales Professional Association North New Jersey for repairs and painting of vehicles and authorize the purchasing agent to re-advertise for same. Amend the resolution adopted June 12, 2012, authorizing the award of respective contracts for the purchase of electricity through the New Jersey Sustainable Energy Joint Meeting to Hess Corporation and Brian Energy Northeast LLC, specifically to add South Jersey Energy, Hamilton, New Jersey, to the contract and to change the name of Reliant Energy Northeast LLC to NRG Business Solutions, Houston, Texas. Authorize the award of a contract to Lavos Elizabeth for the publishing of advertising for a one year period at a cost not to exceed $30,000. Authorize the award of a contract to Public Service Electric and Gas Company, Somerset, New Jersey, to install four 12 foot tall plastic one poles at McPherson Park in the amount of $14,458.01. Authorize the proper city officials to enter into a right of entry agreement with the Light Tower Fiber at Long Island, his land in New York, to locate, place, attach, install, operate, maintain facilities within municipal right of ways within the city for a period of 15 years. Determine that the city of Elizabeth foreclosed by summary proceedings in rent as provided in the in rent foreclosure act. The tax sale certificates held by the city as delineated by the tax collector. You've heard the reading of the resolution. What is the pleasure? Who the resolution for vote? Move the second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, vote. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keene. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Goldman. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. Authorize the tax collector to credit senior citizen disability and or veteran tax deductions for the tax year 2012, pursuant to a delineated list submitted August 10, 2012, in the total amount of $2,000. Authorize the tax collector to cancel disallowed senior citizen deductions for tax year 2011, pursuant to a delineated list submitted August 23, 2012, in the total amount of $750. Authorize the proper city officials to enter into a shared services agreement between the County Union and the City of Elizabeth Health Department for Public Health Preparedness and 
a lien on the property located at 542 South Park Street in the amount of $12,800 for the demolition of said premises. Authorize the proper city officials to execute an agreement for community development block grant funding for CD38, year 2012, with nonprofit agencies listed on Schedule A for the period July 1, 2012 to June 30, 2013, in the total allocation amount of $1,865,232. Rescind the resolution adopted February 10, 2009, designating the MDK Development LLC as the redeveloper of parcel D of Midtown Elizabeth the Redevelopment Project and rescind the resolution adopted February 12, 2012, authorizing the execution of a redevelopment agreement between the city and MDK, specifically to de designate MDK as the redeveloper of parcel D of the Midtown Project. You heard the reading of the resolution. What is the letter? Move and second. Are there any comments? Seeing none, we vote for Councilwoman Perkins and Dusty. Aye. Councilman Weston. Aye. Councilman Grova. Aye. Councilman Keene. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Gallman. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Authorize the proper city officials to execute all necessary documents to discharge an owner-occupied basic deferred payment loan program, second mortgage, held by the city on the property located at 1071 Bond Street, and further authorize the cancellation of the affordability agreement. Authorize the proper city officials to execute all necessary documents to discharge an owner-occupied basic deferred payment loan program, second mortgage, held by the city on the property located at 604. Ford Rare Avenue and the cancellation of the deed of easement and restricted covenant. Authorize the proper city officials to execute all necessary documents and provide a rental housing program deferred payment loan to New Jersey Community Development Group, LLC, Union New Jersey, for the construction of 12 residential units of a 20 unit mixed use building located at 460 466 Spring Street in the amount of $573,910. Establish liens for the removal and disposal of debris on properties listed on Schedule A on file in the city clerk's office in the total amount of $13,518.34. Authorize the mayor of contract to J.E. Alexander, Inc., Bloomfield, New Jersey, for the 2012 Road Servicing Program Phase 1 at a cost of $913,000. $75.85. Authorize the award of contract to JRC Construction Company in Kearney, New Jersey, for the City Hall front step, step slab repairs at a cost of $62,500. Authorize the award of contract to Mason Consulting PA, Red Bank, New Jersey, to provide professional engineering services for the design of the Fred Earthly and Pool Restoration Project at a cost not to exceed $3,800. You heard the reading of the resolution. What is your budget? Move the resolution for both. Move and second it under any comments. Seeing none, roll we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins Agassi. Aye. Councilman Jack Quester. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Gorman. Aye. Councilman Massa. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Authorize the award of contract to Earthfall Service Group, Cranford, New Jersey, providing mechanical engineering services in connection with the police department. Page back chiller replacement at cost not to exceed $14,000 plus reimbursement. Authorize the award of contract to Earthfall Service Group, Cranford, New Jersey, to provide environmental engineering services in connection with the O'Brien Clean Environmental Project at a cost not to exceed $72,400 plus reimbursable. Authorized contract amendment number one, fine to the contract awarded to Joseph Jingoli and Son, Inc. to provide construction management services for general renovations and security upgrades at police headquarters in the amount of $225,000, specifically to provide, to provide for additional services in the amount of $20,000, increasing the contract amount to $245,000.
for the rights of proper city officials to execute a memorandum of understanding and an indemnification agreement the county of union participate in leaf disposal at the union county leaf composting facility at a cost of two dollars per yard loose and four dollars per yard compacted at a cost not to exceed seven thousand dollars authorized proper city officials to execute all appropriate documents for the 2012 State of New Jersey Body Armor Replacement Fund Grant Program. You've heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? Move the resolution for a vote, Mr. President. Move the second day. Are there any comments? Seeing none, roll we'll call. Councilwoman Perkins, that's you. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grova. Aye. Councilman Green. Aye. Councilman Spaniel. Aye. Councilman Baldwin. Aye. Establish a handicapped parking space in front of the premises located at 402 First Avenue. Authorize settlement in the workers' compensation visitation matter of public worry on the basis of the first is the city of Elizabeth in the total amount of $11,703. Pay utilities. Thank you. You've heard the reading of the resolution. What is your pleasure? Order the resolution for the vote. Move to second. Are there any comments? See none, vote we'll vote. Councilwoman Perkins Dustin. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grobo. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Goldman. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Gonzalez. Aye. All resolutions passed. Commendations. We have Myra Chevelle by the Elizabeth Coalition to House the Homeless. Are there any other commendations? Memorials. Mr. Robert J. Delaney. Are there any other memorials? Yes, Mr. President. Um, Councilman, I would like to have a memorial for uh, Rafael uh, Rosales. He was one of the founding uh, members of the Human Club. He was the president for several years, and I had the honor of serving under him as a secretary. Uh, essentially, he was a good man, he was an honorable person, and he will be missed. Thank you. Are there any other memorials? Please stand for a moment of silence. Push the journey. So, we need a journey. 